A man broke into my cabin from the balcony and was standing there completely nude. Who should I report this to? That's the 18th question we're going to answer today in this series of sailor support. So, whether you're a first-time cruiser or a seasoned sailor, come aboard with us as we help you navigate the choppy waters of the cruise line industry and answer your burning questions from around the world. I'm looking to see how best to make an additional formal complaint and to follow up on having Carnival make changes to their balcony rooms on the celebration ship. I was booked in a balcony Havana Cabana room on the celebration ship. Me, a 35-year-old female, and my mother were sharing the cabin. Around 12.30 we were getting ready for bed. I had just showered and my mom needed to use the toilet, so I rushed out and as I was mostly dry and just doing my face routine, I was naked except for holding the hand towel from the bathroom. I was finishing my face routine when I heard the balcony door now jiggle. Our family member was in the room next door, so initially I thought it must be her. A second later, the door opens and the curtain pulls aside and there is a young man, late twenties maybe, standing there, nude. I start frantically yelling while trying to cover myself with the towel. He continues standing there trying to talk to me, but I keep saying to get out. My mom finally opens the bathroom door despite being on the toilet to ask me what's happening in a panic. I try to tell her it's okay because I don't want her to hurt herself trying to get out there. The man finally leaves after I yell some more. The room is set up where we had the two beds closest to the balcony door, so I was on the other side of the beds as him and had sat on the couch to further hide my nudity. He leaves and I go close the door, then realizing that only our sheer curtain had been drawn shut and not the blackout, realizing this man had likely seen into our room before entering. We called guest services and asked for security to come. They did, and we explained what happened. We were confused that our door wasn't locked because there was no latch to lock it as far as we could tell. The handle in the up position is closed and the lower position is open. That's all the sticker on the door implies. We had been under the assumption that closed also locked the door. Important to note that in the Havana rooms, the balconies have a latch gate that leads to a public deck walkway, so anyone in the Havana rooms can technically access any balcony area. The security shows us that there is a lock. It is high up in the middle of the door, and it has a sticker that says child safety lock. Twist to lock and unlock. My mother and I agree that a child safety lock is a secondary feature designed to keep young children from unlocking and opening a primary lock, and as neither of us is a child, we didn't think to use that lock. It also was not engaged when we checked into our room, so we did not have to sort out how to unlock it to exit the balcony. Simply using the handle got us out so our room was already left in a compromised condition when we checked in, anyone could have entered, which I believe is an unsafe practice. The room should be secure for guests before they enter. So security proceeds to show us, but then lo and behold, it turns out the child safety lock on our door is broken. They have to go to our family member's cabin to assess how it works and, an hour later, still have not been able to engage ours. We are tired and have an excursion tomorrow at the ship's first port, so we ask what can we do to secure the room so we can sleep. They take the handle off of the door so the balcony door can't open. So we go to bed. The next day, when I get back on the ship they pull me aside to identify the perpetrator. I do. Back at our room, they fixed the child safety lock and attached the handle back to the door. That night, security pulls me from the bar, which is awkward, honestly. They talk to me back at the room to have me write a statement and ask if I need medical attention, and to ask if I want to press charges four days later when we debarked. I do not wish to press charges because I need to get on a flight and get home as soon as we dock. They then tell me the man who came into my room said he saw me through the curtain and I looked like a ship acquaintance, and he wanted to come in to meet with me, which feels like a total weird lie, and also is still a break-in and an assault to enter a cabin naked without permission, even if you know the person. So anyway, I'd love to talk to Carnival about this more.
I also suggested that the doors and steward should explicitly state that the child safety lock is the only lock on the door and also to make sure they are locked before a guest checks in. Not only to ensure belongings are safe in case the guest doesn't even open the door, but because by starting with it locked the guest has to be able to figure out how to lock and unlock the door properly. Any suggestions on how to contact Carnival about this would be great. I hate that this was the one time of year I got to spend with my mom, and she paid for an upgrade to this cabin. I spent the rest of the trip feeling worried about running into this man. They said they told him not to speak to me or approach me, but never said they removed him or anything. I am lucky my mom was in the room, and that I am also an older woman. I hate to think what could have happened with a teenage girl who was alone in her cabin. Thank you, I know this post is very long. I would 100% press charges. It wasn't an accident. You didn't look like an acquaintance. That was a poorly designed lie. He should be held accountable for his actions. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Yikes, I'm glad everyone is okay. Was the perpetrator another guest or an employee? And why in the hell was he naked? I recently stayed on the Radiance, and they have sliding deadbolts on the balcony doors that you latch from inside the room. No one can open it from the outside if the deadbolt is on. Sounds like this ship needs an upgrade. Don't let anyone make you think that you are in the wrong. This is absolutely a design flaw. I guarantee three-fourths of the doors there are unlocked. I would talk to guest services ASAP. If you file a complaint afterwards, they're going to ask if you talk to guest services on board. I would be wanting my cruise refunded and a future cruise credit. Had you been alone, you easily could have been assaulted or worse. I would honestly press charges, but that's just me. Please raise hell and don't let up. Message John Heald on Facebook even. This is a serious security issue that they need to address. Ship security are glorified ranta cops, and I don't trust them to properly rectify the situation. That's terrible. I wish charges were pressed. Mental health issues and serial rapist vibes, especially how he didn't leave at the first shout. Even if it was an honest mistake, no dude is showing up butt naked, even in abnormal situations. He didn't know you and definitely didn't have the right room. Plus, there's a chance he was close by and stalking you. When I saw the deck plans for the Havana rooms that Carnival Excel class ships had, I thought this might be a problem, even with break-ins and privacy. There isn't a statue on pressing charges. This just happened? You were stressed and afraid, you made a formal complaint, and now you'd like to press charges. See if you can press charges through Zoom or another way. It's 2023, and that's a huge tourist destination where people come from all over. You know the ship and date. They took your info, and undoubtedly, they did the same with him. I don't know, worth a shot. At least they need to ban him from cruising for life. I would 100% press charges. It wasn't an accident. You didn't look like an acquaintance. That was a poorly designed lie. He should be held accountable for his actions. I'm so sorry this happened to you. That's absolutely insane. I'm glad you are both okay, though. I wish you would have pressed charges, but I understand that at the moment your brain was going 100 different ways and pressing charges got overlooked. Maybe if you end up talking to Carnival, suggest for this person to get banned to avoid another guest experiencing the same. This experience was beyond unsettling, and I believe there are many lessons to be learned here for both cruisers and Carnival alike. Have you faced anything similar? How would you approach Carnival about this? Every shared experience and piece of advice Add strength to the voice calling for change. Drop your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time. That's all for now, sailors. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel, hit the like button on this video, and we'll see you next time, sailing on the high seas.